everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm shaughnessy and on this channel we discuss fragrance beauty and wellness and if you simply like to have a good time and you like my vibe subscribe so y'all today's video is going to be an update on my october project use it up this is my first time doing a monthly project use it up so if you have not seen that video i will link it above check it out so today is october 29th i was usually with me i like to wait until the last day of the month to film videos like this to see will i be able to finish anything else up but i really don't feel like it's two products that one i might finish up and if i do it'll be in the empties video and that the the dent will change but other than that i know i'm not going to finish anything else up so let's start with what i did finish up so i had 22 products in that october project use it up and then i said i had 15 i really 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 wanted to finish up so i haven't counted but i know i don't i don't think i have double digits of what i finished in the project for october so so let's just jump right into it, shall we? So I had in there that I wanted to finish the Wellness Collection Avocado um, Body Butter and the Scrub. So I did finish these up. I finished these up. I absolutely love this avocado line. The Body Butter, wonderful. The Scrub, it's a little slimy feeling, but good. I was if they brought this back, I would definitely repurchase without a second thought. No, just boom, put it in the bag. I love this. I love these products. And I hope they bring them back. It's so the body butter is so strong and potent and delicious. Even though it's it's fresh, it's delicious to me how good this smells, how potent it is. Now I wanted to finish the bubble bath. Y'all ain't even taking any bubble baths. So that i didn't get to finish so that was my first uh set i wanted to finish up i also wanted to finish this scrub which i did this is the pink bronze coconut scrub so this scrub was nice from pink this really does didn't smell great to me in the scrub so i wouldn't want bronze coconut in the scrub again now i haven't Finish the fragrance mist and the lotion. That'll probably be next summer's project. Use it up. But this was starting to smell a little off to me. So I went ahead and uh, added it to use it up for October because it was still warm. Like I said, it, today is October 29th and we're finally getting cool weather starting tomorrow. <laughs> going into november we're having our first cool front so that's why i wanted to use these products up so i finished it i would not want to repurchase the scrub and bronze coconut from pink i also put in there uh this set this is the oahu coconut sunset body cream and fragrance mist i said i wouldn't mind if i didn't finish the fragrance mist but y'all got to wearing this and using it and oh i would repurchase this in a heartbeat in a heartbeat and spoiler alert for those of you when i do my film my empties video I use up the lotion too. I just was in love with this. This smells so good. If you want a perfumey, sweet, creamy coconut, this is so good. So yes, if they brought this back, if Bath & Body Works brought this back, I would finish it in a heartbeat. Now I did have a matching body shower gel to this. I did not finish it. It's, it's probably, it may be empty by my October empties. So we shall see. You'll have to tune in for that to see if I finish it. But I loved every second of this. Would repurchase it in a heartbeat if Bath and Body Works brought it back. I also wanted to finish this peach, this honeysuckle peach tea set. Finish this up. Y'all, I loved and enjoyed the combinations. I came up with this so much that I filmed a what to wear with this mitt featuring this uh honeysuckle peach tea mitts and i haven't done one of those in a minute so i don't know 
know which video, which order this is going to go in. So just keep a lookout for that video. This mist, while I enjoyed all the combinations, I don't think I would repurchase this mist again because of that honeysuckle note. If they would have put like a sugar cane note or something else in here, I think this mist would have been perfect. But the honeysuckle note mixed with that peach note can can come off sour to me in the beginning when I spray this and then it sweetens up as it settles on your skin. So that's the only reason, but I enjoy every combination and I finished it up. I also had a matching shower gel to this. It's not finished yet. It's, it was like almost done, but it's not finished. So I don't know when I'm going to finish that one up. The last product I actually finished is a perfume, and this is the Fancy Girl Perfume by Jessica Simpson. I was wearing this perfume with a Wahoo Coconut Sunset a lot, and I wore it for everything, for every combination with the Honeysuckle Peach Tea. And I couldn't see through this perfume, so let's hold it up to the light when i started i was right here it was full and now it's empty and let me spray and see if anything will come out as y'all can see nothing is coming out it is empty this is a somewhat peachy fruity citrusy powdery vanilla that is easy to wear it's an easy reach i just never reached for it would i repurchase this again this was per this was a perfect layering perfume. I would purchase this again if I wanted a layering perfume. Right now, I'm not I'm not even thinking, contemplating repurchasing this right now. It's not at that level. But if I ever got to where I wanted a easy vanilla fruity type of powdery scent, I would remember how well this paired with everything. So, I could see myself repurchasing it someday. I wouldn't want the big 3.4 ounce bottle of it which I don't want the big 3.4 ounce bottles of any perfume really unless I can only get it in that size <laughs> because I have so many perfumes but yeah I surprised me this was full and I finished it in a month yeah less than a month okay this was yeah it's less than a month I finished this perfume so let's count how many products I actually finished up then I'll show you the ones that I didn't finish and that the ones i'm going to you know roll over into november so let's count together i actually want to count together one two three four five six seven eight two away from ten <laughs> y'all know how i am with my numbers y'all <sighs> but it was that's still good because all these products except for the avocado line they were full they were all full so that's pretty good on my end in my opinion that was eight products and trust me that was just eight products i used up from the project okay now this is what I'm currently using right now. This is the Coconut Candy Apple Fit. So I can see through this light. I'm right here. And this was full. So I'm right here on the fragrance mist right now. I'm already halfway done with the body cream. So this is rolling over into... October. I was about to say December, then I say October. This is going to roll into November. This should be done relatively soon. I'm also going to roll over the Kapari Body Butter. I only use this once, once or twice. Because see, here's my problem, y'all. I start, when I'm doing a project, use it up. You know how when you're just enjoying your collection, you might wear this mist one day, this, this lotion the next day. I am using the same stuff until I use it up and I'm just trying to come up with different combinations, layering combinations to enjoy it. So that is why I don't have, when I'm, you're not going to see any dents because I wasn't using, I didn't touch these products because I was focused on, especially the ones I wanted 
that were summary to me that I did not want to roll over into 2024. So that's why you don't see any dents. You won't see any, but I'm just telling you the ones I want to roll on over to November. So this is going to be rolled over. Pink sugar, I did not touch, but I'm going to roll it over because I'm, I'm kind of ready for this to be gone. And it's not because it's bad. It's because I have a perfume from Truly that I feel like I like a little bit better than pink sugar. And because I need to use up a set of this with the cream before the cream goes bad. So this is going to be rolled over too. I didn't touch the Love Cotton Candy Champagne or the body cream. Those are going to be rolled over. I already know I have too many doggone products in this project. Use it up. Y'all don't have to tell me. I know. It's just that this is... I want variety even though <laughs> I don't be deviating usually when I start when I pick a set to to finish. So I don't even know why I put so many. But anywho, I'm also uh gonna roll this scrub over. I did use this, this was full, it hadn't been used. Now it's about halfway. I'm gonna roll this over and finish this scrub up from pink because it's smelling it's it's it smells a little off to me. So I'm just going to, I just want to get it out of my collection and use it up. Okay. This perfume, I did not touch. This is the Kaali Deja Vu White Flower. I'm not rolling this over to November. This I'm going to put, this I'm going to save for December when it's really cold because I need the cold for this. It's not bad. It's not a bad smelling fragrance, but it's not a love for me. So I'm not... We're in this stage now. Like this week is supposed to be cold. The next week is supposed to be warm. So we're going back and forth, back and forth. And I just want this with cold weather. So I'm not going to roll this over until in, in December. If there's a dent, I will show you in my November update uh, video if I use it in November. But I'm not going to put this as a product to use up in November. Okay. So these are the other things. I did not finish, did not touch. So this set, I told you all, if I didn't use it, I wasn't going to roll it over. I was just going to put it away till next spring, summer, and I didn't touch it. This is Bright Palm from Victoria's Secret. So this will not be rolled over. This will be put away until next spring, summer. This is from 2020. So I should be able to use this lotion without any issue uh, one more year. Because I've noticed with Victoria's Secret lotions, they tend to last four to five years with no issue. And the issue isn't really it turning or anything. They just get super, super runny because they're already thin, a thin consistency. But I noticed once it's been too long, they're super runny. So this one I know will be okay. And I will use it next spring, summer. Okay, uh, we got two more sets I didn't touch. But I am going to roll it over. This is the Fresh Vanilla Vanilla Bean and Orchid from Pink from Victoria's Secret. This is this is just going to be rolled over till I use it. I just was concentrating on the fragrances I knew I didn't want to take into spring, summer 2024. So that's why this is one I knew I could just use this at my leisure. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. So this one's going to be rolled over to November if I use it good if i don't oh well now this is one i'm not in the mood for this one but this body lotion is from 2019 and i'm noticing my 2019 lotions from victoria's secret what is this 19 20 21 22 23 so it's the four year mark those are the ones i'm trying to use up and this is bloom box it smells good i know what i could wear it with during this time, it's just I'm not in the mood for roads right now. But we shall see. You know what? I think I'm going to make, because in my last October, because I had to watch the October videos to remind me of exactly what I, I didn't, what I put in there. And I was like, oh, I'm going to really concentrate on this one. And then I didn't even touch it. So this might be one I'm really, this time, because I don't want to take this into 2024. But I don't want to wear this, I believe, in, in December at all. When it's just straight cool weather. So I think I'm going to really concentrate, pulling my hair, concentrate on Bloom Box in November. So I'm going to roll this over. And then that was it. 
Oh my goodness, y'all. So here are the products I'm adding to the, <laughs> to the November project use it up. <sighs> okay. Like I said, it's no way to finish all these products in a month. It's just no way to do so. And I know that. I just give myself variety, see what I can use up. If I decide to, if I if I get bored of something, it'll give me something else to try. If I choose not to just use it up and finish it how I normally do. So that's why it's so much. I know I'm not going to finish these, okay? So I put in Pinkberry Clouds because I have been craving this and because the packaging is ruined and it, it leaks and I just want to use it and get it out of my collection. This is the only one I have, but this lotion is sounding funny. This is from 2021. It's I already got to shake it, shake it, shake it, shake, 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 shake it up and let it get solid. And it should be okay because it doesn't smell off. But this has no uh, strawberry sponge sugar, marshmallow fluff, and fresh air. It's and see, oh my goodness, it's so leaky. It that just got on my um mouth and it's leaking around here. I've never had a mist do this. This was a defective leaky mist. So yeah, I, I'm adding that to November. And with that said, I believe with what I would pair it with, I can just keep rolling it over if I don't get to finish it. But I definitely wanted to put that in there. Now, these are the ones that I'm going to mention that I was I put in my spring summer project use it up, I believe. And I didn't get to use them. I'm missing something. Where is the cream? No, here it is. Somewhere. Oh, there. I was like, what? So this is blueberry. And this is just blueberry. This lotion is from 2020 also, it's sounding off. I want to use it and I feel like I could still enjoy this during the cool weather. So we're gonna start it off in November. I don't know if I'm gonna finish it in November. We shall see, but I'm, I wanted to go ahead and add this because that is, it's turning, that cream is. Um, another one that I've noticed is turning that it will smell good through now and in cooler months to me is almond blossom so this is the cream well i shook this up really well so now it's not sounding too bad but it is from 2020 so i want to go ahead and use it this is a creamy almond sweet scent the blueberry just smells like sweet blueberries i forgot to to say what it smelled like does this have the notes on this this says sweet almond oil blended with vanilla orchid and cashmere musk so yeah i decided to add this and this one, Lemon Drop Martini, I decided to put in here. This has notes of lemon zest, sugar cane, and sweet cream because y'all know I just got the Dolce & Gabbana Devotion Perfume and I feel like it would smell good with this too. This cream is from 2020 and yeah, I'll, I'm going to have to shake it up, then let it get cold and then it'll be fine. But I want to see what dentage I can do with these because I, I don't want these to go into 2024 because I don't think the creams will make it. So I will be using these hopefully up between November and December. So we shall see how I do. Y'all, I just decided to throw this scrub in here from um, Pink because they can start smelling off. Does this one smell off? This one doesn't, but I've just noticed I don't I'm not in love with these scrubs. They're good scrubs, but I don't I don't want a ton in my collection. It's gonna have to be a if I get another pink scrub like this, it will have to be a scrub that the fragrance blows my mind and I just it's it's a fragrance that I want everything in the line. That that would have to be it because the scrubs on their own, they're good, but I just noticed they don't tend to last like I, I thought they would. In my opinion so yeah I just I'm gonna throw this scrub in there too now this is what I'm craving and where is the mist did I forget to bring the mist oh my goodness so but this is gingham heart of gold I am craving wearing this scent to me this is the perfect November scent it has notes of crisp golden apple, creamy vanilla bean, and warm sandalwood. It smells like a golden sweet baked apple. I 
and I want to wear this because I've been craving it. So I'm excited for Gingham Heart of Gold. I also decided to add Dahlia in this um, November project, use it up because I don't ever wear it. This has notes of Velvet Dahlia Petals, Crisp Pear, Praline Musk, and Whipped Tonka Bean. And I just want to see, will I love it enough to want to repurchase it because they, they finally brought it back. So I don't want to wear this and be like, and use it up and be like, oh, I love it. And then I've missed out and can't get another one. So I want to use it some at least to see, do I love it enough to purchase another set of it because this has got to get gone. This cream is from 2022. Well, this cream, I don't know if, if it sounds like I said 2022, but this cream is from 2020 also. Oh, this is my third video I'm filming y'all. And by three is my, is my limit for filming videos because I start to me sounding crazy. So I also put in here white pumpkin and chai. This has the notes of cinnamon cider, spiced pumpkin, and vanilla glaze. This to me smells very fall because when I think of fall, I think kind of like spicy, sweet fragrances. And that's what this is. It's a spicy, sweet vanilla fragrance. I really don't get much pumpkin. So I added this in here also. Now, I also decided to put in here marshmallow pumpkin latte because I really have not worn this. This has notes of pumpkin latte, toasted marshmallows, creamy sandalwood, and praline musk. This I got last year. So I'm not, if I don't use this up, I'm cool with it. I just want to use it some. Because in December, I don't think I'm going to want to wear this. I really don't. So I put that in here to see, you know, you know what I really, really think of it, wearing it, and what I can come up, combinations I can come up with. The last mist I put in here is a random on its own. I don't think I have the cream or the shower gel to this. I think I just have this mist. I think I do. And this is pear creme brulee. This has notes of baked pear, caramelized sugar, and whipped cream. I only put this in here because I'm craving wearing a perfume and I think this would pair well with it. So I just put it in here that if I end up wearing it so you could see some dentage going on, I don't know if I'm, you know, if I don't use this stuff, I really, I don't care. I also put in here Finery's Midnight Cafe because I am going to try to wear some black opium you know, just start wearing it some because of this lotion that I'm also adding to the project, use it up. This is coffee and coconut body cream. I'm ready to get this out of my collection and I know it's gonna take me a while. So I said, let me, I knew I wasn't gonna use it in October, but I am craving some coffee fragrances now. So I decided to put this in here also. I only have two perfumes I want to show you. This is the Juicy Couture Hollywood Royal. This perfume to me will pair perfectly with the Gingham Heart of Gold. So that's why I put it in here. I'm not trying to use this perfume up. I just, you know, we can see some dentage. So this is where I am right here on the perfume. You have to turn it upside down because of the this thing you can't see. So we shall see if I, how much I use of it. Now this perfume is actually in my, you know, general project use it up and i'm just breaking it for fall winter and i'm just breaking it down monthly for you all and this is sophia so sophia reminds me of uh coco mademoiselle so when i got the lotion for marshmallow pumpkin latte as a gift for boss's day i remember i wore it with coco mademoiselle and loved it so i just put this in here to try to get some dentage going on in that perfume also so y'all, I don't even know how many products. I never count before. So I'm gonna count and see how many products that I rolled over into, into November and how many uh, new ones I added and give you the total. Y'all, I put 35 doggo products in this project user. There's more products than days in the month. <laughs> so are we gonna see what I use up. That's the fun of this, cause I know I'm not gonna use all this stuff up. <laughs> So I used up eight last month from the project, use it up. So the goal for this month, my goal is to at least be in double digits. I, that's it. That, that's it. I just, I want to at least use up 
10 products from November's Project Use It Up. That's my only goal. So we'll see if I'm able to meet that goal. So yeah, y'all, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and tell me how you did using up your products in October if you're choosing to do the monthly Project Use It Ups. Please let me know what you what you were able to finish. You know, I love to, to see how y'all are doing too. Please share this video with everybody, y'all, because we still try to keep it growing. And please don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you don't ever miss any of my videos. And as I always say, if you like my vibe, subscribe. Until next time, bye.